Let's talk about what bile reflux is. Maybe you've heard of acid reflux, but bile reflux is a little bit different. Sometimes people confuse them. The difference between bile reflux and acid reflux or GERD is simply in bile reflux, you have the bile from the small intestine. See, there's a tube that drains into the small intestine because the gallbladder squeezed out its contents into the small intestine. But then that bile is now backing up, going the wrong way. It should be going this way. It's going the wrong way. It backs up into the stomach. This valve is dysfunctional. It doesn't keep things down here. And so now it gets in the stomach. Now, if it's in the stomach, um, it's going to affect the pH of the stomach. And bile is a detergent. So it will dissolve certain things. It'll create inflammation and ulcer and gastritis. Another name for bile reflux is gastritis or alkaline reflux gastritis or biliary reflux. Now, GERD is a little different. This is a situation where we normally have the acid from the stomach coming up into the esophagus. But here's the thing with bile reflux, the bile can also come up into the esophagus and create some serious damage into the esophagus too. So they do cross over, but typically GERD is mainly acid coming up through this valve and bile reflux is just bile coming up through this valve right here. The bottom line is what do you do for this condition? It's interesting because it's counterintuitive. You would think, okay, we have too much bile, so we need to inhibit that, take a drug, and problem solved, right? Well, one of the remedies or the solutions for bile reflux is to actually take bile salts. So what's going to happen, it's going to allow for more flow of bile through the system. So bile will help stimulate the flow and the thinning of bile so it's not turning into sludge, so it can prevent stones, and it can actually flow through the body, even through the liver right here. So one of the remedies for bile reflux is bile salts. In fact, one of the remedies for GERD is bile salts, too. It can help both. Um, if there's irritation or an ulcer in the stomach, you wouldn't want to give someone betaine hydrochloride or apple cider vinegar because that's going to irritate it, but they may benefit from bile salts because bile salts are alkaline. But typically, if there's not an ulcer, there's not inflammation of the stomach, that's what gastritis is, a person with GERD would greatly benefit from betaine hydrochloride and apple cider vinegar. And also, those two acidifiers will help release your own bile salts and help reduce bile reflux too. So the combination of both acidifier with bile would be uh, a good solution unless there's an ulcer. And you would know it real quick because you're going to have more pain when you take this acidifier. Anyway, in summary, I wanted to give you some extra information about what to do for bile reflux. It's uh, fairly straightforward. Start taking bile salts. You can even take one on an empty stomach or a few after a meal, and that should help you. But also remember that the underlying root cause to this problem in the first place is there's something wrong with your diet. So I'm going to highly recommend that you do the healthy version of keto and intermittent fasting as the ultimate solution. Thanks for watching. Hey, we're back with another amazing recipe. No grains, no sugar, totally keto. There's no suffering in keto. Absolutely not, Karen. And it's an immune system builder. Absolutely. You have to check this out. I think you should hurry up, watch the recipe, and make it yourself. It's just so easy to be keto. But is it simple? It's super simple. We hope you enjoy making it as much as we are enjoying eating it.